Rated PG-13. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. What's up, MSHP1234? We're going to go ahead and continue on with the game. And we're, of course, starting a live stream at twitch.tv slash middleagegamer or youtube.com slash middleagegamer as well. Let's go ahead and continue on with this, though. What's up, everybody? What up, Computer Wiz? What up, Radio Killer? Make sure I fix my text real quick. Okay, I don't know where I'm at in the game. I think I'm on Steam Locomotives right now, I believe. Just none of this really looks correct, but let me look around. Okay, yeah, so we're just starting off on the Steam Locomotives. This is work order number one. So we won't find sophisticated technology or the smell of fuel. Here you look at the brutal and simple power generated from a steam engine. For starters, repair the brake calipers. All right, so we can get a bonus of 750, income of 250, repairing the brake calipers. Let's go ahead and fix it up. <coughs> yeah, this game's actually pretty cool. Glad to see everybody again. I know I haven't streamed in the past week or so. I apologize about that. Been busy with the familia, but I'm back at it again. All right. Repair brake calipers. I'm assuming they would be on the motor truck. That was like a brake caliber right there. Same with that. I think there's three of them, so let's go ahead and disassemble them. Should be one more. That's bad. There it is, right there. I gotta remember how to put buttons to hit to play this game. So the benches are I've never been in this area or this uh, warehouse. So it's not down there, right? Hmm. Am I overlooking it or what? Is this a bench? Nope. Are they upstairs maybe? Let's go up here and look. That's a big negative. I don't know if I'm just walking by him or what. Maybe out in here. Ah, uh, here we go. What up, Test Flight? How's it going, man? Alright, so 100% chance of repairing, which is good. That's what we want. Let's go ahead and repair all three. And then simply replace them. That should be it for work order number one after that. Great fuss. Thank you for the hosting. Appreciate that. Thank you, James, for the auto host. Definitely appreciate that. Pretty good, Computer Wiz. How you been, man? Ooh. Hopefully they do it in uh, Houston, test flight. No offense. I would like to go see that game. I just uh, I bet $200 on Chelsea today for the FA Cup. And <laughs> I was getting pretty nervous it was 2-2, but they, they pulled it out at the end. I was pretty happy about that. And so I think total, I won about $320, $330, somewhere in there. Got some friends in Vegas that put the bet in for me. Hopefully they'll uh, bring my money back. We'll see. All right, that should be it for the work order. We should definitely be under under budget, which we are. So we get the full $1,000 income. Let's go ahead and finish the job real quick. What up, Crusher? BBC? What's going on, man? Yeah, no problem, Computer Wiz, either have I. All Chelsea games are rigged. I don't know about all that. Man, Tottenham Hotspurs are definitely going at it, from what I saw. All right, so... Work order number two. We received a report from the relay station about a damaged steam engine, which is located in the vicinity of the Great Lakes region. Find it and bring it to the repair shop total of $2,000, which is good. I guess the only problem is that I have to actually go out in the real world to find it. So let's go and leave the garage. What up, Alamode? How's it going, man? Welcome back to the stream. Just getting started. I decided to start off with the uh, Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. I'm going to play Train Sim World after this and probably do some uh, American Truck Sim as well. What up, Strummer? Hell yeah, I got some beers going. All 
All right, so let's figure out where I'm at for one. So Great Lakes down here. <coughs> how easy or hard this is, but to find out. Okay, we'll need to go on that. There we go. We head into the Great Lakes now. Hopefully we'll see the highlighted area once we get through here. Um, don't see anything quite yet. Oh, there it is over there. So we need to go left, I'm assuming. Are we already headed that way? Okay, I can go there and I guess reverse to it. Either way, I'd have to stop and then go back. What up, Kansas Gun Nuts? How's it going, man? If one of y'all get a second, try to uh, unfollow and then refollow me. I'm trying to set up a whole tip jar thing down there. Not quite sure if it works offhand. I'm very curious. working as far as the follow goes. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter which way we get out of here. We're at the break and reverse. No, I didn't do the 420 stream a la mode. I was waiting for Breber to come over. He never even answered his phone, so I'm going to be doing it next Friday, just so you know, to make up for that. I'll be riding solo, so I have to. Uh, I do have the train cam. It's not actually set up quite yet, but I did buy it. USB powered, has night vision. It only gets 30 frames a second, which is kind of the one downfall, but I think it'll be alright. It is ordered though. All I gotta do is literally hook it up <clears throat> and hope that the quality is somewhat decent. I don't know, we'll find out. Awesome MSHP. Train camp's definitely on the way though. Happy about that. Am I going the right way? I should be, right? Let me turn my AC on real fast. Get some air flowing through here. There we go. I should be headed all the way back up to the uh, steam locomotive warehouse. Depot, as they call it in the game. Yeah, I, th I think the 30 frames per second will be okay. I'm just, you know, the other part about that besides the frame rate is how's it going to look at night? I don't know. Any train cam is better than no train cam at this point. I just want to get it up and going. Uh oh, uh oh. Why did it get me going that way? Yeah, Crusher, I was talking about that in my last stream. How you only get to do the, uh, I guess it's the diesel when picking up trains, which kind of sucks. I feel, I feel the same way, though. If you're doing the steam locomotives, you should have a steam locomotive to go pick it up. Yes, Alamode, I'm playing Train Sim World right after this. I'm going to do a couple work orders on here. 
and then move on to Transom World. I'll probably finish up tonight with American Truck Simulator, depending on how long Transom World takes. Uh, but I, I decided to save the best for the middle. That way everybody's not missing the game. All right, it appears that the wheels in the front truck have been damaged. Replace the front blade. All right, sounds easy enough. Let's get the front blade off first. You can see that's pretty rusty right there. Let's focus down here. Just four bolts for this big old thing. All right, that's done. You can see that this needs to come off. Rusty wheels. That might be it on the job work order. Let me look. Yep, we got everything that we need to replace. Let's get back to the benches and go ahead and fix everything. Um, I think it would be mechanics, right? And we have a 100% chance on everything, which is good. We can go to repair it instead of having to replace it. Auto mode, it could be going on YouTube, it just depends. I would assume it would. Uh, that all depends if my recording is working properly. I don't say anything too retarded during the stream. But yeah, it'd probably end up on YouTube. Yes, MSHP, you are a cop. I do remember you. Highway Patrol, right, if I remember right. Alright, let's go ahead and replace the truck wheels real quick. It's actually a, a relatively easy work order. Put the front blade back on. All right, that should be it for the work order. We did get the bonus as well, full two thousand dollars, which is going to go towards probably upgrading one of those benches here in a little bit. That was work order number two for the steam locomotives. Let's go ahead and load up number three real quick. Always pass this place by. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in order. So the steam engine requires wheel servicing. Check which wheels require repair or replacement. In addition, check the condition of the brake calipers. I can definitely do that. Man, the Manchester Derby, if they had it there, or Derby, as the Americans call it, would be pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure they'd pick San Diego over Houston. Awesome. What'd you get promoted to? Kind of curious. All right, so what's the work order again? Condition of the brake calipers, and all these, see these wheels need to come off. question is, how do we get the wheels off? Okay, to get that off, we have to do the connector. That was pretty easy. All the calipers over here look good. Let's go to the other side. Okay, these are some messed up calipers right here. Bad brake caliber off. So I'm going to take this off. Which that's giving me a problem for some reason. What else I got to take off this? Then this. Okay. All these wheels look pretty bad. Not a whole lot of bolts though. It's just basically coming right off, which is good. should be all the parts that we need to replace. Yeah, we got everything. Let's go back to the benches in the back. What up, Dead Riser? How's it going, man? Nice, Lieutenant. That's uh, that's pretty serious upgrade, isn't it? Let's go ahead and repair everything real fast, as long as we have 100 percent tile, which we do on the large drive wheels and the brick calipers. We'll easily come under budget. Go. This 
should basically be everything right there. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you guys got yourself a beer, a nice drink to hang out with me for a little bit. And good, if you're just tuning in, we're going to play Train Mechanic Simulator 2017, which we're on right now. Then we're going to switch over to Train Sim World here in a little bit. Oops. That's like that. There we go. Uh, I need to be in installation mode. Here we go. It's like, why is it not letting me do it? Let me put all the wheels on first. Since I know that's at the base. And then we'll start putting the brake calibers on. And we can start putting everything else on. Hold off on that. Put that on. Let's go back to the other side. Another two pieces down here, I think. Is that everything? Let's take a look. There we go. Under budget, got the full 2,000 in income. Let's see here. Check condition of the brake calipers. Is that done? Should be right. Yeah, looks like it's all checked off, so we're good on that one. That was work order number three. Excuse me, work order number three. Oh, the steam locomotives right there. I'm kind of curious what Crusher stated right there. Awesome Dead Riser. I had the day off. I had uh, my kid and two stepkids that were hanging out for most of the day, just relaxing. Kind of crappy weather over here. Overcast. Fairly cold. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Let me go back to the work order table or the job table real quick. Oh, Red Bull Air Racing. I haven't watched that in quite a while. All right, job order number four. The locomotive requires the repair of the rear wheels together with the axles and suspension. Total of $1,000. This is steam locomotive work order number four right here. All right, so rear wheels, axles, to repair the suspension of the rear wheels. Okay. Let's just get in there and figure it out. You can obviously see this. Is all jacked up right here. Let's go to disassembly mode, take these off. Definitely not as sophisticated as some of the uh, other trains by any means. Right, let's see what else is on the work order. Actually, that looks like it's everything right there. Let's go ahead and fix it. These work orders are really, really easy starting off. I'm assuming they'll get harder. And we have a 100% chance of repairing everything, which is good as well. Damn, 91? That's pretty hot for San Diego, isn't it? That sounds like Texas weather in the wintertime. All right. Get back over here. And there we go to installation mode. The lease spring, spring lease, whatever you want to call it on. Do we need? That should be everything, right? Look. Yep. That's it. Gonna be it for job order number four, right there. We'll just 
blasting through these work orders pretty easy. Don't you know?